Hey guys, Josh here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the recently implemented feature of macros in the DS4 Windows uh, tool from DSDCS. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kick this off by launching the macro builder here. You can see a new icon has been added on the left hand toolbar. And we're going to go to new macro. Um, we're going to set this one up to lower our stick sensitivity for when we're shooting in first person shooter games. So we're going to go ahead and call this, ironically, low stick sensitivity. Alright, we're going to start this off by going into our built in functions, and it's our right stick that we're going to be lowering. So we're going to go ahead and increase the curve to 0.4 from the default of 0 and we're also going to lower the sensitivity to about 0.9 from the default of 1 and what we need to do here now is we need to add a wait for macro release command um, and that'll make it so it'll actually do that and then stop here instead of just spamming it over and over again as you hold the trigger down but what we also want to do is we also want to have it reset back to the default for when we release the left trigger uh, so we're going to go ahead and after that we're going to set the curve back to zero and our sensitivity back to one. So it'll play through those first two, wait for the release, and then reset it back to the default. So let's go ahead and save that. And we're going to open up our test profile here. And for our triggers, we're going to set that to our left trigger, which is L2. And for the macro to launch, it's going to be low low sensitivity shooting. Oop, low stick sense. There we go. Alright, save that profile. And now if we go in and we look at that controller, you'll see the right stick. That's its normal operation. Now if I hit the left trigger, there it is. You'll see that the output drops below the input which means we got some lower sensitivity there. And then it resets back to the default as soon as I release. So what that means is when we're in our game, you know, that's the normal right stick operation. And as soon as we bring up the scope, it's a lot, a lot smoother around the center, so we can really target what we're looking for without it you know jumping around too much especially for people that aren't used to controllers it's pretty helpful so that's it